Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to do a quick skincare routine for you all, but including two new products that I was testing out. I went camping this past week and basically I wanted to take all my skincare products that I was using and not compromise on my skincare routine, but not have to pack too many products. So I was out and I noticed that CeraVe had this new blemish control range. So it consists of a blemish control gel and it also consists of a blemish control cleanser. I know they've got like another thing as part of this range and it's like a retinol type serum thing. But I already have loads of retinol from The Ordinary so I didn't go ahead and pick that up. So I did test these products out whilst I was camping. If you're like interested in finding out how it worked for me and how it was incorporated in my skincare routine, make sure you all stay tuned. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm just gonna put my hair up and then I'm gonna get into it. So first off, I like to go ahead and cleanse. This all goes a long way. You can see the consistency of the cleanser. It's really like jelly and runny. And then yeah, I just like rub that together. It's not really foamy or anything. It just looks like a normal cleanser. And then I like to put that on my face. this one from Eucerin it's the Dermo Purifier Oil Control Toner um, I think in my first skincare routine I did use one from Eucerin but it was the blue bottle I can't remember but this is one I use it says clears the skin and helps prevent blemishes so as you all know I'm trying to get rid of my hyperpigmentation so yeah I like products that are like anti-blemish so not too much just a little bit of toner and then I just like to go around in circular motions So guys, my skin's really still quite grotty from the camping trip. Um, that is one thing that was like a downside. We were in basically in a field. So we were in the forest theme camping and it like, I just felt like my skin was like very dried out. Although I did like this skincare routine. So as y'all can see, I've got two spots up there and then like just a little bit of a breakout going on. So, after toning, I went in with some hyaluronic acid. I've got this one from The Ordinary. And I applied it to like my skin whilst it was still damp from the toner. So that's what my skin's currently looking like, you can see. And I just like hyaluronic acid because it helps your skin to retain moisture and just gives it like a nice extra boost, helping it to stay nice and plump. And I just love that. And then afterwards, I went in with the CeraVe Blemish Control Gel. So this is what it looks like. And this seems to be like a new range that they brought out because if it's not new all over, it's definitely new in the UK. Um, 
So I just thought I'd try it out. I love CeraVe products and they brought a whole blemish control range. So I just thought, why not? That's what it looks like. It is kind of runny, but it does hold basically. And I didn't put too much on and I just rubbed it onto my face, but I use this as a moisturizer basically. So guys, although I use this as a moisturizer, I definitely suggest that you put proper lotion on over the gel. I just didn't want my pores to be clogged and to have too many products on my face considering that we were in a heat wave. It did work for me, but I just suggest that going forward and also for you guys to just use proper lotion on top of it. And then I basically just let that sit a little bit wait a few seconds and then I went in with the La Roche Posay sunscreen I used this sunscreen on most days and then I think one day or two days maybe I used the Shiseido one but this was definitely the go-to and yeah whilst we were camping the weather just kept going from extremes so one day it was like the heat wave and then the next day it was like torrential downpours um, but I still wore sunscreen every day except for one day because I was so busy and then I forgot to put it on um, which was bad of me I'm just going to put a little bit more sunscreen on actually And as y'all can see, this doesn't leave a white cast. You just have to kind of rub it in a bit. Depending on what products you use, I find that some with some products, like your base products, you have to rub it in a bit more. Whereas with some, you just literally can pat it in and it will be fine. So yeah, that's basically it. And then one other thing that I bought, because I went camping and I've kind of started to notice that I usually get like puffy under eyes. Like when I look back at my YouTube videos, I'm like, whoa, Faith, your eyes are like really puffy. I knew when I went to camp, I wasn't going to get as much sleep. So I bought um, this revitalizing eye roll on from Simple. So this, and I have to say, my under eyes haven't been as puffy considering that i probably got about five hours of sleep each night so for seven days i got five hours of sleep um so yeah it's pretty simple you just roll it on your under eyes and yeah you can see it's kind of like a milky type color it just looks like this this roll on thing I only paid like £1.65 for this from Savers and honestly it was really good. I don't think this will give you all a true representation because my eyes are still puffy. I literally came back from camp and then I went and did a night shift so I am sleep deprived at the moment. So yeah, um, maybe I'll keep using this for a while and then update you guys on how it's working for me. Maybe follow me on Instagram and I will give you a little bit of an update. But whilst I was at camp, I did think that my eyes were not as puffy, like significantly not puffy. And then I just finished off with some Vaseline. So, yeah. That was basically it for my skincare routine using CeraVe's anti-blemish well it's not anti-blemish it's just their blemish control range right so having used the products for just over a week it's time for me to summarize my thoughts and conclusions on how i'm loving them so if we start off with the cleanser i do like it because it does contain essential ceramides such as salicylic acid and niacinamide and i do think that those two ingredients together in one product serves as basically a powerhouse i've not been using products with just salicylic acid on its own because i'm not sure how it will react with my skin so i thought it would just be a good starting point to try something with another ingredient that I already love and I do know salicylic acid has like lots of benefits so that was a pro uh one of the things that I didn't really like is that it's not really like foamy it's not as foamy as some of the other cleansers which isn't really like a big thing so 
it's not it's not like a deal breaker for me but if you do like foamy foamy um cleansers this might not be one for you another good thing that i liked is that it's like good for oily skin because it's meant to like absorb all the oil i have mentioned that i've kind of got an oily t-zone so that was good for me i didn't feel like my skin was too oily but when i did wake up i did think like oh i have got a bit of a glow so that was nice with the skincare routine i felt like when i woke up because when we went camping it was a bit odd the daily like schedule or like the daily routine sometimes i had to like wash my face after having breakfast and like i'd look at my friends and i'd be like guys does it look like i've not washed my face and they'd be like oh no you look fine so you can get up and go with this i did not go a day without washing my face let me just make that clear it was just sometimes delayed to like let's say instead of eight o'clock it was delayed to nine o'clock so that was nice not having to think oh i woke up and i'm looking a bit rough um can i see like signs of like the anti imperfections yet i don't know obviously i've got like a little bit of a breakout happening here but i must say guys this skincare routine i was very happy with it out of 10 i think i'd give it an eight because when i go camping my skin usually breaks out that's why i knew that i still needed all my products but i didn't want to take them in separate bottles this breakout here and like here yes i have that but that's like a hormonal breakout which is like perfectly explanatory however up until like thursday in the week my skin was popping and i was very happy with how it looked so i definitely recommend it i don't feel like i was getting any more breakouts than i usually would which is just like once or twice in a month so i can't really complain this was nice it felt like it had nice slip to it it felt nice and silky um it does feel a little bit sticky when you put it on but it blended in very nicely with my other products and i can't really complain about it it didn't make my skin feel sensitive or like stingy or anything it was fine nice and gentle both of these products and it just fitted nice and seamlessly into my products that i'm already using so guys like i said i would give this an 8 out of 10 and also this bad boy right here the um under eye revitalizing roll on i did enjoy using this so i'll keep using these products and i'll let you guys know but hopefully you enjoyed my little review of these two products this i think was i bought it on the sale so i think i paid 10 pounds for this and then i paid eight pounds for this or like vice versa boots just had a sale because it was a new product and i had 20 percent student discount off or like an extra 10 percent so i'd say it's quite affordable and yeah, I enjoyed using it. If you guys enjoyed this little mini review, make sure you like and comment your favourite part or comment your favourite CeraVe products. If y'all want me to do a um, video like comparing this one and the foaming face wash, let me know. Put a comment in the comment box below. Or if you've got anything else that you want me to try out, just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time, bye guys.